Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our day number 40. Math skill, whether you're preparing for the GRE, GMAT, SAT, does not matter. Question today, the question for today is what is the remainder when two raised to one hundred is divided? By three. What is the remainder when two raised to one hundred is divided by three? That's all. I want you to work on it. Here are the answer choices. Here are the answer choices. I want you to work on this problem. Pause the video right away. Pause it. Solve it yourself. Do whatever it is you can do. And if you cannot do it right away, and if you want to come back to it later on, even tomorrow, or ask somebody else, do whatever you have to do. But do not watch the solution until you have solved it yourself. Do the best that you can do, and then resume the video, okay? I'll give you a few seconds to do just that. Pause and unpause. What is the remainder when 2 raised to 100 is divided by 3? 2 raised to 100 is divided by 3. Well, Let's take, let's take a look at it. Let's erase this part here. There is your solution. First of all, before you do any work at all, you should realize that if you are Dividing something by 3, and by something I mean a number, if you're dividing a number by 3, you can't have, you can't, cannot have a remainder of 3 or more. Immediately, we should kill D and E. D and E, answer choices D and E, are nonsensical. They are idiotic, moronic. They make no sense. Why? Why? There is a reason. If you divide anything by 3, if you divide, if you're dividing any number by 3, you can't have a remainder of 3 or more. For example, if you ask me to divide, if you ask me to divide 12 by 3, and I sit there and probably tell you that 3 divided, 12 divided by 3 is, and I sit there and tell you the remainder of 3, that's silly, that's idiotic. If I have a remainder of 3, the question is if I have a remainder of 3 and if I was dividing by 3, why didn't I go one more time? Instead of, instead of doing 3, I should have said 4 here, and this would have been 12 exactly. Because if I have 3, I have, I have enough to go one more time. Let me give you another example. For example, if you ask me to divide uh, 27 by 5, and I sit there and probably tell you that 27 divided by 5, I have a remainder of 7. No, that's silly. I cannot have a, you cannot have a remainder 
which is more than a number that you're dividing it by because if that's the case I could have gone one more time instead of 4 I should have gone 5 and instead of 20 we should have had 25 and this would have been 2 so 3 and 4 were silly they were silly you can't have a remainder of 3 or a 4 if you're dividing something by 3 they were silly so the correct answer whatever it is has to be either 0 1 or 2 let's solve it again it simply says that first of all if you're dividing something by 3 you can't have a remainder of 3 or more. Kill, kill D and E. And this exercise that we just did here is just to, just to learn, just to train ourselves as to how to raise your odds in the exam if you really don't know what's going on or if you don't have the time to solve the problem. If the time is running out, the clock is ticking and you've got uh, two minutes uh, left on the clock and you still have two more problems to go, you don't want to sit there and spend the two minutes on this problem. You just want to narrow your odds, uh, make an intelligent guess and that's it. Let's see what, now let's, let's do the proper solution here. Let's see what happens when you raise the 2 to, 2, 2 to 100. Don't freak out, we're not going to actually do all of it. 2 raised to 100. So, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, so on and so forth. 2 raised to 1 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. 512 you get the idea I'm just I'm just making here 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 raised to 2 is 4 and then 8 we're simply doubling it 16 32 64 128 256 512 and if you double 512 500 times 2 is 1000 and 12 times 2 is 24 ask yourself what will you get if you were to these, divide these numbers by 3 what will we get let me erase this part here what will we get if you were to divide these numbers by 3 and why are we doing this thing because there is a pattern here there is a pattern here that they want you to discover here so what happens if you divide 2 by 3? 2 by 3. How many 3's in a 2? There are 0 3's in a 2. And you get a remainder of 2. How many 3's in a 4? There's 4 and you have a remainder of 1. This is the remainder part. Here I'm writing the remainder. And on the top I had this part shows the top line shows 2 raised to n. 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, so, so forth. This is the remainder. I don't have the room to write here remainder, so I'm writing it there. So, what happens when you divide 8 by 3? You get a 2. If you divide 16 by 3, you have 5 3's and a 15 and you have a remainder of 1. What happens if you divide this by 3? Uh, three, there are 10 3's and a 32, then you have a 2 remainder. If you divide 63 by 3, 64 by 3, well I know that 63 divided by 3 is simply 21. So 64 must have a remainder of 1. What about 128? Divided by 3, there are 4 3's and a 12, and if you divide 8 by 3, you're going to have 2 of them and then remainder of 2. Do you see something here? Do you see a pattern here? Right here. Very simple pattern is what it is. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, so on and so forth. It goes on forever. That's all it is. As a matter of fact, I didn't have to go through the trouble all of this thing. How do you know if a number is divisible by 3? How do you know? How do you know if a number is divisible by 3? The answer is 
If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3. If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. Here you see 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus, 5, 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 is 1 more than 12. That tells me that if I were to divide 256 by 3, I'll have a remainder of 1. Because had this, had this been 255, 255 would have been 5 plus 5 plus 2, which is 12. This would have been divisible by 3. 255 would have been divisible by 3, but this is 256. This is 1 more, therefore we'll have a remainder of 1. Let me show you again here. 5 plus 1 is 6. Well, 6 is divisible by 3. There are 2, this 6 plus 5 plus 1 plus 6 is 8. If you divide 8 by 3, you get a remainder of 2. Same thing here. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7. If you divide 7 by 3, if you divide 7 by 3, you get a remainder of 1. Voila! You see the pattern? 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, so on and so forth. This comes in a pair. And what's the power that we have? We have a power of 100. We have a power of 100. Right here, right here, we have a power of 100, which implies that we will have 50 pairs of 1s and 2s. 50 pairs of 1s and 2s. It should say 1s and 2s, not 1 and 2. 50 pairs of 1s and 2s. Right here. Technically, I should have said 2s and 1s because, because 2 is first here. We'll get 50 pairs. Let's keep it simple. We'll get 50 pairs. What does it tell you? If it's 50 exact pairs, for example, if we were to get only two pairs, this is one pair, this is second pair. Right here. Remainder would have been one. If you if you had five if five exact pair, one, two, three, four, five exact pair, the remainder would have been one. Since there are 50 exact pairs, exact pairs, 50 exact pairs, which means the last uh, the last number that we can arrive at if we were to continue as 2 raised to 100. Right now we only have this is 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, 2 raised to 5, 2 raised to 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, we did go up to 2, to 2 raised to 10. But if you were to continue to 2 raised to 100, which is going to be a very large number, but if you were to do that, you will find that we'll have a remainder of 1, because that's the pattern. 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Remainder of 1. The answer is 1. We have three answer choices. Left, 1, 0, 1, and 2, and therefore the answer is B. That's all. That's all. We are done. That's how simple it is. What I'm going to do now is, what I'm going to do now is, I need room to some write someplace. Should I erase this part? No, no, I don't want to erase this part. I'm going to erase the problem. The question was, what's the remainder? What's the remainder if 2 raised to 2? I'm going to give you a little homework, something that I want you to work on on your own, and I'll solve it in a couple of days. Not tomorrow, which is day 41, but in a couple of days, I'll solve it, and maybe on day 42. Here's a question for homework. What is the remainder when two raised to 
Oh, I have to find that page where I put down the problem. I'm going by my memory. Just give me one second. Two raised to one hundred and twenty five is divided by five. Now well, I'm warning you that this problem that I'm just gonna put on the blackboard is a little bit more complicated than the simple version that you saw here. And this one it was a simple version because the pattern is very simple, very straightforward, it's just a pattern of Pattern consists of two elements, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Sometimes the patterns are a little bit longer. Maybe in a pattern you will have, in a, in a given group, you will have three elements, or maybe four elements, where you will see four different numbers before the pattern repeats itself, or maybe three different numbers before the pattern will repeat itself. This is the simplest form, where uh, there is only two elements in the, in the group, and then after that it just repeats itself. So I'm warning you that this is a little bit more complicated, but follow the same logic, same technique that you just saw here, and see if you can solve this problem. I will do it, as I said, uh, not tomorrow, which is day 41, but perhaps on day number 42. Again, question simply is, what's the remainder when 2 raised to 200, when, when, what's the remainder when 2 raised to 125 is divided by 5? All right. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 41. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring for SAT, GRE, GMAT, statistics, math, algebra, what have you, you can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email, or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright, thank you.